Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today in this video, uh, we'll be seeing what is Amazon EBS, that is the Elastic Block Storage, which is used for storing the persistent data. So uh, let's begin by uh, looking at this diagram of uh, how the EBS actually, uh, or where it actually sits. So uh, you have this, your host computer or the system, and then you have some of the EC2 instances, uh, and it's uh, merged with the EBS. So EC2 is nothing but the Elastic Cloud Compute and uh, it's merged with the EBS so EBS uh, looks like something like this so it's a kind of house a picture of a house so that's EBS elastic block storage and it provides some persistent data storage volumes where you can just divide and just replicate into multiple levels of hierarchy so uh, EBS just fits between uh, this EC2 instances and the host computer system as well as it provides this is a resultant of what the EBS provides uh, at the end system uh, so let's begin with uh, what this EBS basically is. So Amazon EBS that is a uh, block storage system. It is used to store the persistent data. So uh, not the temporal or the temporary data but the persistent data which is of larger size which is used for a later period of the time. Uh, and it's suitable for EC2 instances that is Elastic Cloud Compute by providing highly available block level storage volume so it's like uh, various kind of patterns are there that we'll be discussing in this it stores in key value format in a structured form and in a block storage at various levels of hierarchy uh, by considering uh, what kind of or what type of data it actually is then EBS storage volumes uh, are arranged in a massive array and there are uh, various kinds of zone availability. So zone availability is nothing but uh, at particular location uh, where data is not available it may be replicated to n number of places like uh, if there is at a place like at Hamburg if that data center is there uh, main data center and it may be replicated at Dusseldorf or some other places like New York or Paris so it's like uh, if a node failure happens at one particular place then the data can be available from the other zones so that's the zone availability so uh, that can be achieved with the help of EBS then it creates new scenarios with storage volume management and new scenarios gives rise to the Amazon S3 that is the simple storage systems and uh, this gives rise to snapshots and new volumes with zone availability like I've said. Uh, then it gives the benefits of long term backups then strategizing the rollbacks which you can do on your uh, data sets and for creating uh, that is for recreation of the new volumes uh, which are there or which uh, earlier was uh, done but due to some kind of uh, disaster or some kind of uh, problems uh, which went down you can just recreate with the help of this EBS. Uh, next uh, you have this combination like uh, if you have the S3 snapshots and with the availability zones and with the EBS when you just uh, mix all together you can uh, make a fault tolerant uh, cloud system so that is the benefit which you get from the EBS. Uh, next uh, talking about the patterns for uh, data storage we have three main patterns for EBS data storage first we have the uh, storing in form of key value pair so most of the data in EBS are stored as primary key and value pair and it's uh, related or it gives rise to Amazon S3 that is a simple storage systems so uh, most of the data in cloud uh, are converted into this key value pairs uh, like it doesn't take that much space and so uh, it's uh, more efficient and uh, uh, more space compact and so uh, we prefer with the storage uh, key value pair and next you have the storing data in simple and a structured form so obviously some kind of database or uh, some kind of uh, tables might be there so uh, simple query interface it provides which gives rise to the Amazon simple DB that is a database and the uh, primary keys to S3 objects like uh, simple DB contains the primary keys whereas the Amazon S3 contains the uh, the Amazon S3 contains the primary uh, key and simple DB contains the secondary key. So secondary keys to S3 objects that's to here are stored in the simple DB where primary keys are used as a lookup. So from a lookup table you just find which uh, key value pairs is uh, matched with that and you just uh, give the reference to that particular uh, data in the S3. Next uh, the remaining like if it's not a key value pair and if it's not a uh, structured format then the rest of the uh, data which is available in that bucket which has no form is just uh, put into the data in blocks 
so that's no certain pattern are obtained from the remaining uh, from the bucket if uh, that is there then that's uh, been uh, put into or that has been designated as storing data in blocks so these are the three patterns where how you can store the data in EBS next we have the benefits perceived benefits which we can get from the EBS are it's highly secure and consistent so you can uh, do the reliability operations in a much more efficient fashion than high performance and low latency is expected from EBS so whenever you uh, put or upgrade your system into EBS or whenever you adopt that EBS you get a high performance system with very low delay uh, next you have the scale up or scale down of the Clyde model uh, which you can get from the EBS which is very much uh, useful uh, for larger organizations and finally you have the uh, backup which is uh, given with uh, restoration and you can do the innovation like you can uh, do the customization as per your needs so well that was all regarding the amazon ebs in uh, cloud computing so hope you guys enjoyed this video and got educated by watching this video please do like share comment and most importantly don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you very much for watching this video